Hey guys, this is Lead Snow Leopard, and this is my premiere video for Aftermath Gaming. So thanks to everyone that watched my guest video. And uh, today I'm going to show you guys the Starscream boss fight from Transformers: Dark of the Moon. Um, it's pretty easy again, but it's also really cool. I'm starting up about halfway into it, so I'll let you guys see the cutscene. So yeah, but you actually get your own secret weapon too, while well, he gets his huge rockets, like something I eat. That's your guided missile, that's your best friend, especially if you like achievements or trophies, because uh, if you use that five times without dying, you get, uh, I think like 25G or a bronze trophy. So uh, if you are achievement oriented, that's great for you, because it's really easy. But uh... It tells you to aim for the engines, you don't really have to. Um, it's all like Ace Combat, just watching it now on a replay. Um, you know, because there's the tons of missiles coming at you, but you can just fly past them. Uh, your barrel roll is your best friend, really. So, if you get overwhelmed, just do a barrel roll. And, uh... Yeah, you oh you can tell when the guided missile is active because it has this uh, like a little white missile launcher bow up here on the top of Starscream's jet, and I sort of jumped the gun on that so you guys didn't get to see that. But while you're it's a time-based ability too, so I mean it's gonna take you a while to get it going. But other than that, you can shoot them with your missiles too. I mean that's something to do. I won't do a whole lot. But it gives you something to do when you're waiting. But you can also just like fly away. And there's that again. See, you can also miss, so be careful about that. The hit detection is kind of spotty, especially when you get to the edges. And, um. Yeah, like that time I just messed up totally. That wasn't hit detection or anything, it was just me being a moron. But aim for the body of the plane. Because even though they tell you, you know, go for the engines, go for the engines, just go for the body. The explosion's big enough, it will take down the engines too. Um, yeah, you can also take down those little fighter pilots flying around you. That'll sort of relieve your stress. Um, and obviously the turrets will shoot at you pretty much for the whole, whole level. Yeah, and see, like, I brought him into the red right there. Then to get, uh, I missed again. Yeah. Uh, if you want to really hit him and be sure you can get him, I'd fly, like, uh, I'd fly a little bit over him, like, directly over him, and then just kind of angle down and shoot. Because, um, worst case scenario is if you actually fly into him, you'll just transform like that. But, you know, I just transformed because I was getting tired of him just flying around. Uh, also use Rocket Hover if you do transform. I think it'll automatically do that for you, but make sure you do that. It, and then it should just force you back in. So be aware of that. I, I haven't tested it out. Uh, I haven't tested that out yet, so I think you'll live. I think you'll be okay. I think it'll just automatically make you Rocket Hover, then automatically make you go back. Um, yeah, I just fired that guided missile because I felt like it. And uh, if you haven't gotten your five guided missiles uh, achievement thing yet, or trophy, whatever you, whatever system you're playing on, it, you can just uh, fly around here and just wait for it to cool and use it again. Because you don't actually have to hit anything, you just have to activate the ability and not die. So you can just, even if you die during the fight, you can just stay here and do that. And uh, he'll look like he's about to fall out of the sky and explode. Stratosphere will, but he won't. He won't. He'll just he'll wait for you to fly in. Um, yeah, you gotta bust through. You can. Uh, I was gonna kill that guy, but he disintegrates. There's also that a symbol there. That's also an achievement. I don't really. 
I don't really like having to go find all the stuff, so I haven't done that yet. Yeah, you don't have to shoot him, but I just felt like doing that because I was an evil Decepticon. And then just when you're ready to finish, just grab the missile. You leave him a present, of course. Um, yeah, so that's the fight. But uh, just be aware that if you haven't gotten your... Uh, the fight only ends when you fly up to him, so if you want that achievement, you can just go ahead and get it. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching my video. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, thanks, guys.